It's a glory to call my pastor. Mm -hmm. To first lady in her absence, anybody who works their way in gold should realize that it truly takes a call from God to be a minister's wife. Mm -hmm. It takes a special kind of woman to be married to a preacher. Mm -hmm. God chose her because he saw something in her to compliment pastor and help him run this race. Amen. I thank God for First Lady and her commitment to ministry and to our pastor, and I pray for you both daily. From the beginning of time, God has called men like Pastor Lee to serve his people. For God, Abraham left his homeland. Moses declined Egypt and its riches. Joshua destroyed Jericho. Yeah. Elijah confronted King Ahab. Right. Daniel faced the lions. James and John forsook their nets. Yeah. Matthew left his custom moves. Paul left a life of power and prestige. Pastor Leland transitioned from another church family who treated him like family, loved him dearly, and took care of him royally to come to innovation because God called him and told him to come to us. I am glad that he did. In this day and time, we need more men like Pastor Lee that are like tall timbers, willing to stand true to God's word, to truly pastor and teach. Pastor Leland's record speaks for itself. Amen. Pastor and First Lady Leland, I want to take a few minutes and encourage your heart from the following perspective. Just right for the job. <laughs> we live in a day and time where the word tolerance is being used and abused. We are constantly having to lower our standards and expectations and to accept any old kind of behavior, any old thing, and any old body. I'm a firm believer that we need to pick some folks that is just right for the job. Amen. If you have never been sick with pain running through your body and you were looking for a physician, any old doctor won't do. Amen. You want a first class physician. You want somebody that is just right for the job. I can attest, I can testify about that because when I needed to have knee replacement surgery, I prayed first, then researched about knee surgeons and asked the Lord to find the one for me because any old knee surgeon would not do that. Anybody ever had car trouble? How about trying to find an affordable mechanic that is just right for the job? I'm a firm believer that it can be counted as a blessing when you find somebody that is just right. Mm -hmm. This is the attitude that the Apostle Paul is having here in this text. Let me read the scripture again to refresh our memory. Philippians chapter 2, verses 19 through 22. If the Lord Jesus is willing, I hope to send Timothy to you soon for a visit. Then he can cheer me up by telling me how you are getting along. I have no one else like Timothy who genuinely cares about your welfare. All the others care only for themselves and not for what matters to Jesus Christ. But you know how Timothy has proved himself 
like a son with his father, he has served with me in preaching the good news. Paul needed a leader, and just any old body would not do. He needed somebody that he could send back to check on the church at Philippi. He was looking for someone just right for the job. Mm -hmm. This was very important because the Philippian church was a special church to the Apostle Paul. Mm -hmm. When nobody else stood by Paul, they stood there. Mm -hmm. When nobody else tried to help, they sent help. Mm -hmm. When nobody else was there to pat them on the back, they sent a love offering. Mm -hmm. Paul is saying this particular church that he planted is near and dear to his heart, and he could not sin just in the old body. Mm -hmm. He was looking for somebody that is just right for the job. Mm -hmm. I need you to understand that Paul did not haphazardly Pick someone. Right. Philippians 2 and 20 says, I have no one else like Timothy mm -hmm. who genuinely cares about your welfare. Mm -hmm. All the others care only for themselves mm -hmm. and not for what matters to Jesus. Mm -hmm. There were hundreds of Christians in Rome. In Romans chapter 16, Paul greets 26 of them by name. Yet not one of them was available right. to make the trip. Right. Paul said that he searched and could not find anybody like him. Nobody that really cares for you. Except for this one young, young fellow by the name of Timothy. In Paul's letter to the church at Philippi, he tells them to get ready because he was sending to, sending to them a man who is just right for the job. What is it that makes Timothy right for the job? Just right for the job. Timothy was Christ-centered. In Philippians 2.21, it says, all the others care only for themselves and not for what matters to Jesus Christ. Paul is saying here that when he looked at the other preachers, they were preaching, but it seems like they had a little big, head, big headedness, arrogance in them, a little arrogance in them. Oh, they were doing a whole lot of pooping, saying a whole lot of nothing. Mm -hmm. But when I look at Timothy, he is Christ centered. His agenda is not position, <laughs> his aim was not prosperity. His ambition was not popularity. Does these attributes sound like someone we know? <laughs> when my children and I moved to Tallahassee to join my husband, he was already an active member of innovation. Over the years, we have lived in several states prior to coming to, to making a move to Florida. Every place we lived, we always have prayed and asked the Lord to find us the church home with the pastor that he would have us to be a part of. We sought the Lord's direction because there are many churches, but there are few pastors. We could have joined in the church. People church talk all the time. They get mad, leave one church for the next in a hot second. We are not swayed by other people's opinions. We are concerned and do what God tells us to do. Meaning, for us to stop coming to church to hear our pastor, other than being sick or traveling, a chain would have to be put on the door to mm -hmm. keep us out. The Lord sent us to innovation where there is a pastor who is appointed to help guide us, to teach us sound doctrine, to encourage us, to pray for us, to equip us so that we can do the things that God called us to do. The Lord taught me a long time ago 
that we need a pastor because churches are many and pastors are few. Amen. I am so glad that we listen and obey God. Finding a church home is secondary, and finding a pastor is primary. Finding the right pastor that God has assigned you means that you will automatically be in the right pastor, the right church. Right pastor equals right church. I am so glad that we are not only members of the right church, Innovation Baptist, but we also have the right pastor, Pastor Jack D. Lee. Amen. A pastor that truly cares about our well-being and someone whose agenda is not positioned. His aim is not prosperity at the expense of others, and his ambition is not popularity. Eighteen years ago, God said, I got a pastor position vacant, and I need somebody that is just right for the job. Mm -hmm. I need to let somebody know that putting in an application for this particular position is fine. Go ahead, mm -hmm. submit your resume. But God says, no matter how many resumes you get, I am still in ultimate control. And I have already decided I got somebody that is just right for the job. Amen. Search Amen. committees are okay. Go ahead, look for someone in the surrounding area. Go ahead and search for a qualified candidate throughout the state of Florida. Go ahead, go ahead, go ahead, catch your next. But your search is going to come up empty. You know why? Because some 61 years ago, God said, I got somebody that is just right for the job. Mm -hmm. Somebody that I birthed and brought into this world in October of 1953. <laughs> this little baby boy is just right for the job. <laughs> he does not know it yet. Because he is still an infant. But many years later, I am going to call him and start preparing him through my preparation process to fulfill my purpose. All right. He does not realize I am getting him ready to fill one of my key pastor vacancies. Mm. The search committee thought that they called him in the summer of 1996. But God said, I already called him in February of 1953 when I formed him in his mother's womb. Right. And on October 5th of 1953, I birthed him. All right. Truth of the matter is, before there was a telephone, God had already called him. Before there was a search committee, God had already shaped and equipped him. Before there was a vacancy, God had already installed him. All right. God said, I got a man just right for the job. Somebody like Timothy who is willing to serve, even if you don't call his name. Somebody like Timothy who is busy doing the Lord's work. Somebody that is not doing it for a pat on the back. Somebody that is not doing it for themselves. Somebody that is not doing it for his own glory. Somebody that is not doing it to fatten his own pockets. Right. But somebody who is doing it to glorify Jesus Christ. Amen. Pastor Leland, we thank you. We thank God for you. Thank you for your humility. Thank you for your meekness. Thank you for standing on the wall and watching over our souls. For you are truly just right for the job. Because you are a man after God's own heart, equipped for service. Mm. May God bless you on your 18th pastoral anniversary. And always may he lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. You are just right. Good job. Amen. Amen.